I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to solve equations with rational exponents. Equation given to us is 5 minus x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 1 equals to 7. So let us rewrite the equation and then solve. So we have 5 minus 1 to the power of 3 over 2 minus 1 equals to 7. So as a first step let's take 1 to the right side or let us add 1 on both the sides. So if you add 1 to the both the sides you get 5 minus it's 5 minus x I'm sorry. You have 5 minus x to the power of 3 over 2 is equals to 7 plus 1 which is indeed 8. So now we can do 5 minus x as equals to 8 to the power of 2 over 3 right. So that is how we can actually solve from this stage. Now we have 5 minus x equals to what is 8 to the power of 2 over 3? Well, you can square 8 first and then cube root, or you can cube root and then square. Either way, you get the same answer, right? Cube root of 8 is 2 and square of 2 is 4. So you'll get 4 as your answer. Now at this stage, you can also use your calculator. So you can say 8 to the power of within brackets. 2 divided by 3 bracket close equals 2. So you get 4 as your answer, right? So so that is how you can get. Now let me do this separately also. You have 8 to the power of 2 over 3, right? So you could either square and then cube root. So if you square, think like this. You could do like this. Cube root, right? That means you are saying 64 cube root, which is indeed equals to 4. Or you could do like this also. You could do first cube root and then square. Now cube root of 8 is 2, right? 2 square over which is indeed 4. So either way, you get the same answer, right? So, so you get 5 minus x equals to 4. And now you can solve for x. You got 5 minus 4 equals to x or x is equals to 1, right? So that is indeed the answer for this particular question. Now what you can also do is you can check your solution, right? So let us check the solution. To check means substitute the value whichever you got. So you get 5 minus 1 to the power of 3 over 2 minus 1. So let us start with the left side. So 5 minus 1 is 4. So 4 to the power of 3 over 2 minus 1. Right? That is what we have. Now as I said, you could first square root. So if you square root 4, you get 2, and cube of 2 is 8. So you get 8 minus 1, which is indeed 7, right? So that is how you could actually solve and check such equations. I hope that helps. Thank you.